Is there any type of client that the systems theory works best with, or is it? See, I, you know, I, I'm I, I'm I, I'm so impassioned about this particular theoretical point of view that I, I can't think. I'm sure that that there probably is. I, I couldn't identify that for you at this point because uh, we live our lives in a relational context. We're mm -hmm. constantly in interaction with other people, and. Um, so from that point of view, I can't think of anyone who could live in society in total isolation, anyone whose life is totally unaffected by the existence of other people. So in that regard, I, you know, I, I think it, um, it has broad-based applicability to any number of, of clients. So, I mean, so it would have to maybe be a treatment of choice for everybody? Well, I think, you know, more, even more so than being a treatment of choice, I think that what, what systems theory does is it attempts to reorient the way in which we think about the world. And if we're, if we're thinking about or problems or human suffering, if we think about it uh, in this sort of individual A causes B, that what systems theory, what it's done for me is it's challenged me to think in much more interactional terms so that... Um, you know, that I'm, I'm looking at, at um, not only how A affects B, but also how B affects A. Well, what about somebody like who's depressed? How, well, how could that be a systems issue? They're just depressed. Well, because, um, I, you know, I think that depression occurs within a relational context. That if, if I'm feeling depressed, um, it's, uh, there's some piece of, of my depression that I'm thinking has to be related to a relationship that I have or don't have, a relationship that I wish to have, um, that there's someone else in my life who plays a role in this very deep emotion that I'm experiencing. So it's not just totally located with inside of me, but also it's something to share with, with another person in my life or a person that I wish to have in my life. So, you know, I think that even depression in that way is, um, has a very strong systemic component. And that's not to suggest that there like, you know, these types of questions always come up. It's not to, to suggest that depression may not or cannot have some biological component, but I think that that doesn't preclude there also being a very strong interpersonal component as well. Mm. We're going to be watching um, you work yeah. with somebody in a, in a few minutes, Phil. And um, what, what were your goals in working with Phil? <clears throat> Well, you know, I, um, one of my broad goals with him was a broad goal I would have working with any individual is to get the individual to begin, you know, to, 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 at a point where he leaves the session buying into the notion that his, what he sees as his individual problem is much broader than himself, that it is, it is caught up in a web of interactions and that there are any number of individuals who contribute to um, his description of his problem. And so I'm trying, in, 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 a, in a broader sense, to get him reoriented to think about his life in terms of interactions, relationships, and connections. So that's, I mean, that's sort of a broad mm -hmm. goal. And then the other, the other you know, more specific goal would be to begin to get him to challenge and think more critically about uh, some of the assertions that he makes about his life, some of the constructions he have about um, who he is and um, the significance or insignificance of what he does. So, um, you know, he was a person I saw who came in with lots of life has been inundated with denial and denial that has supported and propelled, you know, some bouts with alcoholism and so forth and really trying, wanted to sort of disrupt some of that denial so that he could get a more accurate picture of who he is what impact his behavior, thoughts, attitudes have on others, and vice versa. And, and so when we look at your role as a systems therapist in this uh, uh, interview we're going to see in a minute, can you t set it up for us for things that maybe the viewers might want to look at for what exactly you were doing? Mm -hmm.